Hi there, Ian Dixon here. How are you today? Um, Got a really interesting one today. We're going to talk about mindset today and how, as a weapon for business, um, a little trick that you may not be aware of that absolutely, uh, stay with me because don't underestimate how powerful this mindset trick is in order to get things done. It is something that is often misrepresented or um, or shared in a way that it might not be so believable and certainly there's been some things uh, delivered into the um, into into the media over the years that have given this uh, concept perhaps not the best press but actually it's a really really powerful mindset trick uh, well it's not a trick it's actually how our mind works that will help you to become successful in business. So if that's of interest to you, that's where the next five minutes we're gonna be going. So stick with me, uh, because that's what we're gonna do. Uh, Please do uh, hit the subscribe and ding the bell. Uh, But if you're ready, I am, let's talk about your mind and your brain. So, uh, and it's a a coaching tool that I use every single day. So. Um, there is something in our heads called the uh, that is, has a really pompous name. It's called the reticular activating system, and it's a physical thing. It's about the size of a walnut. It's in the base of our brain, and um, it basically controls, uh, or actually is a filter for everything that our senses are exposed to. So. Uh, at any one time, we could be exposed to over two million bits of data. So, and uh, consciously, we're really not um, uh, built to cope with any more than seven or eight bits of data. So, at a conscious level, um, and so subconsciously, we have these filter systems in place that filter out things that aren't important to us. And our RAS, as, I, as it's referred to, our reticular activating system, because I'm going to call it RAS from now on, our RAS is there to uh, filter out the things that we don't need. So um, now that's a fabulous function and incredibly important, but there's the flip of that. So as in, what about things that we do want to focus and, function, uh, and work on? that we need to pay attention to. So so we don't need to hear the air conditioning uh, hissing in the background in a room, and so our RAS will filter that out, but there may be something that we are interested in and need to focus on that we want to put on our RAS. And that's where this kicks in, and that's where this works. So I'm gonna give you a scenario or an example of our RAS working. So I want you to imagine that you and I are at an airport, Somewhere and we're off to some um, uh, business trip and we're queuing up for a coffee and it's a massively busy concourse and we're queuing up for a coffee and we're just having a chat and uh, over the tannoy they call out uh, will the driver of vehicle XY123 and you go to me oh well, well hang on a sec that's my car That is your reticular activating system using something that has been put on to your RAS by you um, as something that you need to be aware of should it uh, come to light. So um, that's a really good example of using your RAS in a positive way, as in you don't consciously think about it, it's parked on your radar or on your RAS, and when it triggers, your subconscious gives you a little nudge and says, that's important so right so how can you use that in business in a positive way now um, I'll give you another example actually (laughs) let me give you another example so um, and this has happened to me I'm sure it will have happened to you so um, I can remember buying a car in green and uh, who buys a green car I bought a car in green other than those that are watching this video that have green cars I can remember buying a car in green thinking I'm going to buy it in green because nobody will have this car in green and it will it'll stand out so I bought a car in green and I was coming home in this car in green and I'm not kidding you I saw three of them I saw three of the same car in green and I'd never seen a single one um, and it, just this year um, in the last few months I both Uh, somebody in my family and a good friend of mine both bought the same sports car it's a very rare car Uh, I don't really uh, how many were made but not 
you know, hundreds of thousands. Uh, and uh, I'd never seen one on the road before. And as I say, somebody in my family has now got one. They bought, literally within weeks bought, both bought one. And um, since they've got those cars, I see them now. I do see them on the road. That's your Raz. So, right. So in business, one of the, the things to be aware of is that um, we see things that we focus on. And, and this is often caused uh, by the language that we use. And so by saying, um, you know, I'm, I'm never going to be successful, or I'm never going to have money, or um, this is always difficult, or this is always hard work, or I'm always late, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm always stressed. The, you are essentially putting things onto your RAS that will confirm and what will happen is you will see things that acknowledge and confirm what it is that you're saying because you're basically putting these things onto your reticular activating system. So once I understood it as a thing, what I then spent time doing was putting positive things and affirmations, if you like, onto my reticular activating system so that I would then focus on and look out for things that were evidence, acknowledgement, and affirmations of uh, that I'm doing the right thing or that it would manifest or turn up. So, um, and so the, the core message here, and I'm conscious of the time, the core message here is that this is a very real thing. It's a physical thing that lives in your brain. It is there to filter out uh, millions of bits of data that we don't necessarily need and just leave in place all the things that we want to focus on and that are important to us. So if we know that thing exists, why don't we then take advantage of it and make use of our RAS uh, and put things on that our RAS that we can focus on and work towards and identify and see evidence of coming to us? That's pretty much how it works. And so the way in which to do that is to is the old fashioned set goals, write things down, put things up in your workspace around you, uh, things on your monitor, things on your screen savers, um, uh, you know, uh, th uh, things on your desk, in your diary, anything that keeps things on your RAS, even the language that you're using, just start to use language that will affirm and uh, create uh, uh, and identify with things uh, onto your reticular act activating system. It's a fabulous tool, uh, vastly underused, especially in business, and from a mindset perspective, it's very, very powerful. So, so there you go, eight minutes today. Um, your reticular activating system, it's the uh, filter for your brain Using it in a proactive way in business will definitely help you. Hope you found that useful. Uh, please do click on the subscribe and like buttons. And we look forward to catching up with you on the next video. Going to say bye for now.